Now let us start solving differential equations. Now as I told you or as we learn in our integral calculus, before we can integrate an expression, for example, there is a function here and this is dx. Before you can integrate this, these functions must all be in terms of x. You cannot integrate it if there are two or more variables except you integrate partially. Now, while if this is dy, before you can integrate, it is a mass that the function must be a function of y and there is no x. You get it? So the first form of solvable differential equation is the variable separable. Why did we say variable separable? So it is because the variables are separable. You can separate x and y by mere multiplication or division. Now, the general form is f1 of x times g1 of y times dx plus f2 of x times g2 of y dy is 0. In the family of dx, there must not be any y. So what you are going to do is you divide everything by g1 of y. So if you do that, you'll be able to cancel g1 of y. This divided by g1 of y, this is canceled. This divided by g1 of y, 0 over g1 of y, still 0. Okay? So, g1 of y is removed from the family of dx. In the family of dy, there must be no x. So, what we will do is divide every term by f2 of x. So, divide this by f2 of x. This will be cancelled. So, divide this by f2 of x. So, 0 over f2 of x, still 0. So, in essence, you just move this to the left, you just move this to the right of the other term. You get it? But a numerator becomes a denominator, no? And if there is a denominator you want to move, it will become a numerator. Do you follow? Okay, let us have an example. Before having solving this problem, bear this integration or quotient in mind. So, if your numerator is one degree lower than this, than the denominator. It is a candidate for integral of du over u. Remember, in differentiation, the exponent is reduced, okay, by 1. So that is a candidate for this. Integral of du over u is ln of u. While if your numerator is higher or equal in degree than the denominator, what you will do is you divide, then you integrate using power formula. Okay? Now, when the denominator is second degree, this, it has a second degree term in the form of u squared plus minus a squared, then the candidate integrals are this. Okay? But the numerator must be zero degree. Okay? Now, if your denominator is a product of different functions or it is a function that is factorable into f1 of x, f2 of x, what you will do is use partial fraction and the expression will be reduced to one of this. Okay? Now, also, remember the power formula integral of u to the n du is u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. And also, the integration by parts, integral of u dv is uv minus v du. Also remember, the derivative of e to the x, e to the x is repeating, or let me generalize, e to the u. Derivative of e to the u is e to the u du, right? So that's why when you integrate, integral of e to the u du is e to the u. Okay? Now also, what is repeating is derivative of sine of u is cosine of u. And when you differentiate this again, derivative of cosine of u is negative 
sine of u. Derivative of sine, sine will repeat after two differentiations. Okay? So also, remember the derivative of tangent. Okay? So that is tan sec 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 tan. Yeah? So derivative of tangent of u is second u times second u du or second squared u du tan sec 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 tan. So derivative of second is second u tangent u du or derivative of second is second times tangent. If this becomes cotangent, this would be cosec cosec negative. If this is cosecant, this becomes cosec cotan negative. You get it? So you just get the cofunctions or you make them the cofunctions and then put negative here. That is also the formula. Let us solve this differential equation. In the family of dx, y must be removed. So we transfer it on the other side. In the family of dy, x must be removed. So we transfer it by making it a denominator of the other term. So this will be 1 minus x squared over x dx minus. This will become 1 plus 3y squared over y dy is equal to 0. So as you can see here, this is second degree, right? This is first degree. The denominator is lower in degree than the numerator. So that belongs to this. So same thing with this. Second degree, this is first degree. So this is lower degree than the numerator. So we just divide. So what we will have will be this is the same as 1 over x, 1 over x dx minus x squared over x, it will be x dx. I just bring in this 1 as I divide this and this by x, okay? And then minus 1 over y dy minus 3 y squared over y is y dy is equal to 0. So this is purely x. We can integrate everything. Okay? If y and x are already separated, you can integrate them. Integral of dx over x Integral of du over u is ln of u, right? So this is going to be ln of x minus integral of x dx. That's power formula. u to the n is u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. So this is going to be x to the 1. Integral of that is x squared over 2 minus integral of 1 over y dy or dy over y is ln of y. Very commonly encountered in differential equations. Then minus 3 integral of y to the 1 power formula. y to the 1 integral of that is y to the 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. That is 2. Integral of 0 is a constant. But for simplicity of final answer, since there is over 2 here, let me make this over 2. So that when we multiply everything by 2, you'll get here 2 ln of x, right? So 2 ln of x minus 2 over 2 cancelled, you'll have x squared minus 2 ln of y minus 2 over 2, 3 y squared is c over 2. That is going to be c. You get it? Also, if you intend to combine it with x and y, since there is loan here, you may also make this loan. Loan of c. 
that is only for final simplification. No? Okay? So, if you're going to combine this and this, so by property of logarithms, remember, by properties of logarithm, remember, log base A of MN is log base A of M plus log base A of N. Also, log base A of M over N is log base A of M minus log base A of N. And also, N log base A of M is the same as log base A of M to the N. Okay? The sum of log is the log of product. The difference of log is the log of quotient. And N log base A of M is log A M to the N. A multiplier of log is an exponent of log. Okay? So, let's do it. So, this is the same as ln of x squared. This would be minus ln of y squared. This one. Separate natin to. So, minus x squared minus 3y squared is ln of c. Okay? Let me combine c on the other side, on the left side. So, it would be minus ln of C. So, to make it positive, let me make it minus ln of C. Okay? You can do anything with a constant because ln of a constant is still a constant. A constant divided by 2 by 3 is still a constant. A constant squared is still a constant. Square root of a constant is still a constant. No? So, we are just manipulating this and pattern it in the form of other expressions so that when you simplify, so you'll get as a, a clean result, okay? So, combining these two, you'll get here loan of difference of loan is loan of quotient x squared over y squared. Remember, when you transfer this to the left, this is plus loan of c. So, that is plus. So, this is product. Sum of loan is loan of product. So, this is loan of C x squared. So, we transfer this on the other side. So, this will become positive x squared plus 3y squared. If you want to leave this in this form, this is already acceptable result. You follow? What about this example? Now take note it involves e to the cosine. Remember that cosine, derivative of cosine is negative sine, derivative of sine is positive cosine. Okay? So there would be a du here, huh? Du, 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 du. Okay? Alright. So in this problem, you have your e to the cosine y plus 2 dx plus cosecant x y to the fourth plus 16 dy is 0. Okay? Now in the family of dx, we need to remove this. So we've got to transfer it here. In the family of dy, we need to remove x. So we need to transfer it here. So, this will become e to the cosine of x dx over this transferred here, cosecant of x plus. This would be y to the fourth plus 16 over y plus 2 dy is equal to 0. Okay? So, as you can see here, this is higher degree than this. So, that is belonging to this one. The numerator is higher degree than the denominator. But what about in this? 1 over cosecant is, what is 1 over cosecant? Sine, right? So, this is going to be e to the cosine of x, 1 over cosecant is sine of x dx. Plus, let us divide this. Huh? So, dividing y to the 4th plus 16 by y plus 2, 
let me do here the division. Let me put here the division. Y to the fourth plus 16 over Y plus 2. Y to the fourth over Y is Y cubed. Y cubed times Y, Y to the fourth. Then Y cubed plus 2 it, uh, times 2, it will be 2Y cubed. You subtract. You'll get here minus 2Y cubed. I still have the 16. I haven't brought this down yet, huh? So, minus 2y cubed, there will still be plus 16, okay? So, minus 2y cubed divided by y, this is minus 2y squared. Minus 2y squared times y, this is minus 2y cubed. Minus 2y squared times 2 minus 4y squared, right? So, you now subtract. When you subtract, you'll get here, this will cancel. Minus minus, this would be plus 4y squared. So, 4y squared divided by y, that would be 4y. So, 4y times y, that would be... 4y squared, 4y times 2, that would be 8y, right? Okay, so you subtract this from this, so you'll get here 4y squared minus 4y squared, this will cancel, I just continued it here, huh? So, 0 minus 8y, this would be minus 8y, okay? So, let me bring down 16 here. So, minus 8y divided by y minus 8. Minus 8 times y minus 8y minus 8 times 2 minus 16, right? So, you subtract. This will cancel. 16 minus minus 16, this is 32. There is no more y. You cannot divide it further. So, this is already the remainder. This is the answer. This is the remainder. So, I can write this as this divided by this is the answer. You have y cubed minus 2y squared plus 4y minus 8, right? So, plus the remainder a remainder is 32 over the divisor y plus 2. y plus 2 and this is dy is equal to 0. You follow? Okay? So we are now ready to integrate. This is purely x. You can integrate. This is purely y. You can integrate. This is integral of zero okay remember also just for explanation the derivative of a constant is zero so that when we integrate both sides integral of derivative they are opposite functions so they cancel each other out that's why integral of zero is a constant okay so this is in the form of e to the cosine x Suppose this cosine x will be your u. If your u is cosine x, what is the u? What is derivative of cosine? Negative sign. So the only thing missing to make this du is negative. Derivative of cosine is negative sign du, right? So we just need negative. So multiply this by negative by negative 1, multiply it by negative 1 also. So that negative 1 times negative 1, positive 1. Anything multiplied by 1 remains the same, right? So therefore, this is now, this 1 is already du. This is now integral of e to the u du, integral of e to the u du, if you integrate this, integral of derivative, anti-derivative. 
So, integral of e to the u du is e to the u. So, this is going to be e to the cosine of x. Okay? So, there is negative here. The one we add. Then here. The rest here will be power formula. No? So, integral of y cube dy, integral of u to the n du, u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. So, this is going to be y to the 3 plus 1, 4 over 4 minus 2 integral of y squared, y to the 2 plus 1, 3 over 3 plus 4 integral of y to the 1, y squared over 2 minus 8 integral of dy, y. Our problem is this one. This is 0 degree because constant. This is first degree. When the denominator, when the denominator is 1 degree higher or the numerator is 1 degree lower than the denominator, that is the candidate for this. So meaning, if we let y plus 2 as our u, if your u is y plus 2, what will be your du? d of u is equal to d of y, d of 2, 0. So d of u is dy. This is already your du, right? So this will just be 32 integral of du over u, ln of u, ln of y plus 2. Since our problem involves a lot of other constants and another a lot of forms, so we will just let this to be C. So therefore, this is already our answer to the differential equation. You may prefer to just remove the denominator by multiplying everything by LCM of 4 and 3, that would be 12. So, making this, let's make this C over 12. So, then multiply everything by 12 so that this will just be C. Okay? So, multiply everything by 12. You'll get negative 12 e to the cosine of x. 12 over 4, that is 3. y to the fourth minus 12 over 3, 4 times 2, 8 y cube then 12 over 2 6 times 4 24 y squared then 12 times 8 that will be 96 minus 96 of y plus 32 times 12 that is 384 of the loan of y plus 2 is equal to c over 12 times 12 that would be c so therefore this is your final answer you get it you may also choose to combine c with this by making this loan of c you get it but this is good enough okay so i am inviting you to enroll in our course in differential equations it is only as an introductory offer, we are offering it at 750 pesos only. You have an access to our lectures in differential equation for three months. So you have a three month subscription to our course in differential equation. So sulit na sulit. So instead of you hiring a tutor or instead of you failing in your subject, then it's better to enroll in this very sulit na sulit na course. So see you.